Um, so today we are talking about a new tool that I got and I'm showing you how I achieved this super cute curly um, wave that I have going on here. So stay tuned and let's get started. You guys, it has been so long since I filmed. I know I used to do it like every Sunday, I believe it was, but with surgery and things that were just going on in my life. I kind of had to stop for a minute. So, last time I filmed, I was still in my boot. I'm no longer in that. I'm all healed up, walking normally, things like that. So, as far as surgery goes, the surgery was very successful and I'm very happy. So, what we're on here today for is I got this tool for Christmas. So, it's a straightener, but it also curls as well. And it's from the brand Head Candy. This is going to be upside down for you guys. Let's see. So it's head candy. And if you're on Facebook, I'm sure that you guys have seen her on there. I'm also going to drop her link down below. So the cool thing about this is that there's a little fan. There's the icon right here. Um, there's a fan and it cools your hair while you're curling it or straightening it or whatever. Um... So, there's the temperatures of 280, 320, 350, 390, and 430. So, I typically stay between 390 and you can do the highest 430. It really doesn't affect it. Um, and how it's built is just like super um, just healthy ways to do your hair. So it's ion built plates in here, not like the metal ones that are in an actual straightener. So um, when my hair is a little bit more greasy, I will tend to turn it up to 430 just so I still get that amazing curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I do have it up to 390 and it does take about 60 seconds for it to heat up, which is freaking amazing. So. Um, we're going to just go ahead and start by sectioning the hair. She has so many great products. Um, she has different tools. She has tools that can give you like blowouts. Um, go ahead and pull these little hairs out. Um, she has dry shampoo. Just amazing, amazing products. So definitely go check her out. Um, I'm going to do the bottom half without the fan and show you guys um, how it works. And then I'll do the middle part with the fan so you guys can see it. So if you know how to straighten with a straightener, it's pretty much the same concept. But you get these amazing curls if you can see. Um, these are just my little baby sideburns that we're going to go in and do. But you just get beautiful, beautiful curls. Prior to this, I didn't go through and like straighten just like kind of the top part. I washed my hair last night, so this is like cleaner. And I don't blow dry it like ever, so it just kind of is crazy when I do that. But you just get, as you can see, like super voluminous curls that are just stunning. And they last, like that's another thing that I love is that they last for so long. And she, her name is Kayla. So another great thing is that if you go to her Facebook page, it's Candy Life with Kayla, which I'll also put down in the description. She has tutorials of her using her tools, which is awesome because most companies don't do that like they 
don't show you like how the products actually work or if they do actually work. And then if you buy the tool and you're still having trouble with it, she has people that will FaceTime you, so she calls them our FaceTime girls, that will help you and walk you through it. So that's really nice as well. Okay, so I just did the bottom half and as you can see, it's like super beautiful curls. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the fan on. This is what it's like. It's actually fairly quiet. I can turn it on. So that's the fan. And you want to just leave these curls alone. Like, do not touch them. Don't bully the curls. Just leave them be. What I do when I curl my hair is I'll curl it and then I'll do my makeup. And then after I'm done with my makeup, then I'll brush them out. And the hair is instantly cool when you take it out. Instantly. Okay, so I've done that side, obviously. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start on this side. And you guys can also do it like a wand. I can try to do it really well. I haven't mastered it, but like you can do it upside down like this. And run it And I actually wanted it. That's okay. After I'm done too, I'll show you guys, but I'll straighten my ends just so it has more of like that beachy wave kind of a look. Uh, let's see how beautiful just these curls are like they're stunning and you can't achieve this like with a regular iron, I think. And if you guys have noticed, I've recently cut my hair. I did, I want to say it's been about two weeks now. I don't typically use the fan a lot, but if you guys end up buying this, it, obviously it's your choice. 
I just don't use it. I've used it, this is maybe my second time, and I only use the fan if I'm like in a hurry and I need to like get out the door and I can't wait for my coats to cool, then I will obviously use it. And the nice thing about this is you can take big sections. I'm doing my hair a little bit different today so you guys can see how it works a little bit better, but... People with longer hair do not be afraid to use this tool. I just feel like, and you should watch Kayla's video because she explains it a lot better than I do. You just need to slow it down when you're curling it. Don't go super fast. Just slow it on down when you're curling it. She says vroom. In a room it more or room it less. I don't like how that one turned out, so we are not gonna do that. Like, look at all of that volume. Like, it's insane. I wanted this tool for ever, and when my sister asked me what I wanted for Christmas, this was the winner. I haven't done it with an updo yet, but I think these curls would make such a beautiful updo. Okay, I think I got everything really done. I can't do the way that Kayla does it. She kind of does it like a wand. She goes in and like, I don't know, turns it. I'm going to have to play with it and figure it out. Okay, so we can turn the fan off now. And this is... Before it's obviously 
brushed out. I'm going to fix this little spot right here. But the nice thing is like it does not take me very long to do my hair at all. And with it being short now, like not very long at all. Okay, so now I go in and just like straighten the ends. I love the curls. I just don't want them like super, super curly. Okay, so I usually brush mine out, which I'll do in just a second, but right now, like, I'm just going to do it with my fingers. But you get these just like all of the volume in the whole world. It's stunning. So I want a little bit more volume up in here. So Kayla tells you that you can with just like these little baby curls. That give you like the lift up in here. And the same with this side, I want just a little bit more volume up in the crown. And she says that you can even just like leave it for a second and then run it through. And you just get this like incredible lift, as, as you can see. Like, look at that volume. Like, that is insane. Okay. So I think I'm pretty much done. I'm going to just go through again and just straighten the ends a little bit. Okay, like look at that, you guys, it's stunning. Okay, and then I'm going to finish off with the Sebastian Sharper hairspray. This stuff's really good. It doesn't leave like that sticky feeling. Not the best smell, I'll be honest, but I trained on it in high school, so it'll do. Okay. That is the final look, and it's just so beautiful. I love it. Let me That's the back of it. Just wavy and gorgeous. 
Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed you and I really hope that I can come on here sooner than I did before. Um, thank you for watching again though and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!